Okay, so this is going to be a video on how to grease everything in your tunnel. Now, every tunnel is going to be slightly different, but I will cover every single grease spot regardless if it's there or not. If you have any questions, as always, just ask us and we'll help you out with that, okay? So our first grease spot is going to be right here. This is our grease spot for our barrel drum, okay? So you will see these grease certs right here. Pretty easy to see them. That's what you, where you're going to want to grease, okay? As always, we always give it two pumps of grease. Um, if it feels like it needs more, you can give it more. But for the most part, as you're greasing, if you feel strong resistance, you don't want to continue pumping. That means that it's full and you don't want to break the seal, okay? Now our next grease spot is going to be right in here, okay? That is our uh, roller up fork grease zert. Okay, there's one on this side. And there's also one on this side by your roller up fork, okay? So there's gonna be two of those 40 degrees. Okay. <clears throat> so as you walk into the tunnel, you're gonna see that every wrap has four grease certs on it, okay? So it has two bearings, four grease certs. It's gonna have a grease cert right here, and a grease cert right here. It's also going to have one on the top as well with two greasers on either side. That's because these don't move 360, so it needs to be greased on either side so that the grease can make its way all the way around the bearing evenly. As you see, two right there, and there's going to be two on the top as well. Okay. So our next grease spot's kind of tricky. It's going to be your mitter, okay? So every wash has at least one of these mitters. And where we're gonna wanna grease on this is at the top here, there's two grease bearings, okay? You're gonna see those right there. There's a grease bearing on the very top, right there on the arm, and there's a grease bearing on the shaft over there. There's two of them at the top of these emitters. Once you get up there, you'll see them a little better. I also have a ladder set up over here, so you're gonna see a little better here in a second. So these are our tire brushes. These are gonna have 10 grease bearings on them, okay? So this is our first one right here. Then there's two on each section of arm. So there's one, two on the bottom. One, two, one, two. One, two. And then the final one on the end right here, okay? So that is 10 on each brush, okay? So it doesn't matter what type of brush it is, it's always gonna have 10 grease bearings on them. So as you can see on this brush, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? So once again, these big man wraps, they're always gonna have their one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four. These are newer ones probably going to be easier for you to see the grease bearing inserts what it looks like to be a new bearing okay our grill brushes are going to have a total of six okay so you got two and four those are grease zerts but those are two bearings once again it's going to be either side for those these ones have one so there's two more spots right here that you're going to want to grease two bearings and then two more bearings in here with two more spots one right here and one right there, okay? And that goes for the same on this brush over here. There's nothing different about it. You got your two here, two here, and your four here, okay? So as we come over here, our rocker brushes are gonna have two bearings with two grease zerts on them, one at the top and an identical one at the bottom. That goes for the same on both sides, okay? So, this is our top brush, obviously. There's gonna be multiple spots to grease on a top brush. So the first spot that we need to grease is up here at the top, actually. You're gonna see these black um, stoppers right here. It's gonna have the stainless steel shaft in it. These are very important to grease. There's a grease there at the very top right here on either side. So you need to make sure to grease those on either side. If we don't, it's gonna be a real pain to replace them, okay? At stores, four, five, and six, your top brush doesn't work on a clevis pin, it actually works on a bearing. So you're gonna have another grease cert right here on a little bearing that you're gonna grease, okay? And hopefully I can add that in later. Okay. 
You also have a bearing on either side right here on your top brush. So there's one right there on the inside. You're also going to have one right here on this side with your greaser. Hopefully they're on the bottom so they're easier to reach for you, but if not, you're going to have to get a ladder and get up there. There's also your stopper right there with your greaser on the top. That's going to be another one. Same thing I explained on the other side. Now at stores four and five, you guys have the wheel pendulum. Okay, on this wheel pendulum, there's going to be two bearings on the bottom on either side. So that's four more bearings you need to grease. And then there's going to be two more of those black stoppers I showed you at the very top with the same thing, a stainless steel rod in it and a, in a uh, dessert on the top. Hopefully, as I said, I can show you that a little bit better, but we'll see. Uh, can you move that ladder over here? So this is our second mitter. Stores like three are going to not have a top brush. They're going to have actually a third mitter. So you're going to just do the mitter three times over. It's pretty easy to see. So now I'm going to get up here and show you exactly what you're going to be greasing. Okay. All right, so these are your gre this is our mitter rod right here, and you'll see our grease certs right here, okay? So there's one on this side that's on the shaft end, and there's one here on the drive arm. Both of those need to be greased, and they need to be greased uh, probably two pumps in, okay? And this is on every mitter. It looks exactly the same. doesn't matter what store you're at or what type of mitter it is. It could be front to back or side to side. Okay. So now we have the tire shine brush. Okay, so once again, 10. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, just like every other brush I've showed you. It's identical for the other side as well. Okay. And the last thing is that stores four, five, and six, you guys have a soft drop trap door. So just like on the front end, there's gonna be a, those extended grease hoses, and they're gonna be right here where my boot is and then they're just going to be grease certs at the back end. Those need to be greased every week as well. So you're going to give it two pumps here and two pumps there. And those will be good. Like I said, those are for stores um, four, five, and six, and seven as well actually has those grease certs. So the final spot we're going to look to grease. And this, so most of this greasing can be done bi-weekly, but this greasing actually needs to be done weekly because of how much they run. These are your vacuum turbines. Okay, so your vacuum turbines need to be greased on a back bearing right here. So here you can see the turbine. So on the back bearing right here, it needs to be greased weekly. This needs to be greased weekly, and this one needs to be greased weekly. You don't have to grease this one. This is an electrical motor, so it needs to be greased yearly on that zert. But these two right here need to be greased weekly and as does this one right here and same thing with this side okay one two and three on your back end right there as I said this one is an electrical uh, zert so this needs to be greased yearly not the biggest deal okay well if you guys have any questions as always please let me know and uh, hope you have a good day